Hey, electric enthusiasts. Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, the place where we light up your day with electrifying experiments and shocking facts. Today, we're diving deeper into what happens when you dare to plug a 110 volts motor into a 220 volt socket. It's a journey filled with twists, turns, and transformers. So, buckle up as we charge into the details. Let's get back to basics for a second you've got a 110 volts motor, designed for the calm and steady streams of American electrical standards. But if you're venturing into the high seas of 220 volts power without the right gear, you're setting sail on a risky voyage. Remember, doubling the voltage without precautions is like sending a tidal wave through your motor. When you feed it more voltage than it's built for, it's a fire hazard waiting to happen. The motor's internal components, not designed to handle that extra heat, could fail or, worse, ignite. Now, here's where transformers enter the scene, not the robots, folks, but the electrical kind that can save the day. A transformer can step down the 220 volts to a more manageable 110 volts, ensuring your motor runs smoothly without any hiccups. But, and it's a big but, you've got to pick the right transformer. It's all about the power rating, my friends. The power of the transformer must be higher than the power of the motor. Why? Well, if the motor demands more power than the transformer can handle, the transformer itself becomes the weakest link. It'll start to overheat as it struggles to keep up with the motor's thirst for energy. And just like the motor, if the transformer gets too hot, it's game over. It can burn out not to mention posing a serious fire risk. Think of it like this, your transformer is like a bridge over that 220 volts rapids. If the bridge isn't strong enough to handle the weight crossing over it, it's going to collapse. So, Making sure your transformer has a higher power rating than your motor is like building a bridge strong enough to handle a fully loaded truck. It ensures that everything flows smoothly from one side to the other, without any breakdowns. So, folks, the moral of the story is this, respect the power of electricity and equip yourself with the right tools for the job. A transformer isn't just a handy gadget, it's a safeguard between your precious 110 volts motor and the mighty 220 volts power supply. But remember, it's got to have the muscle to handle the load, or you're setting the stage for a not-so-electrifying drama. Power Pioneers. Guess what? Simply matching the voltage isn't enough when it comes to running your 110 volts motor safely on a 220 volt supply. Voltage is just one piece of the electric puzzle. There's another key player in town, and its name is Frequency. Frequency, measured in hertz, HZ, is essentially the heartbeat of your electrical system. In the US, the standard frequency is 60 hertz, but many places around the world use 50 hertz. Why does this matter, you ask? Let's find out. Just like voltage, your motor is designed to dance to a specific rhythm, or frequency. If your motor is tuned to the beats of 60 hertz and you plug it into a 50 hertz power supply, or vice versa, it's going to stumble. This mismatch can lead to lower efficiency, increased heat, and even damage over time, because the motor's not operating in its sweet spot. So, here's where things get interesting. Even if you use a transformer to step down the voltage from 220 volts to 110 volts, if the frequency doesn't match, you're only solving half the problem. You need your beats to align, and for that, you might need a frequency converter instead of a voltage transformer. A frequency converter does exactly what its name suggests, it converts the power supply frequency and voltage to match the frequency and voltage your motor needs. This ensures your motor runs as intended, preserving its lifespan and efficiency. Think of it as translating a foreign language to your native tongue, making sure nothing gets lost in translation. But here's the kicker, frequency converters can be pricey and are typically used in more specialized applications. So, it's crucial to weigh the costs and benefits, especially for small projects or household appliances. Sometimes, it might be more practical to find equipment already suited to your local power supplies voltage and frequency. Dual Voltage, Dual Frequency Motors these motors are designed to operate on two different voltages and frequencies, typically 110 volts at 60 Hz and 220 volts at 60 Hz, although 50 Hz may also be a common frequency for such applications, especially in parts of the world outside North America. These motors have a special winding configuration that allows them to adapt to different electrical environments without losing efficiency or performance. This is particularly useful for machinery or appliances that are meant to be sold or used in multiple countries, where the standard household power supply can vary. The ability to operate on different voltages and frequencies is made possible by configuring the motor windings in such a way that they can be connected in series or parallel arrangements. For example, at 220 volts, or higher voltage, operation, the windings can be connected in series. 
This allows the motor to handle the higher voltage by distributing it across more winding turns, reducing the current through each winding and thus the overall current draw from the power supply. At 110 volts, or lower voltage, operation, the windings are connected in parallel. This effectively halves the voltage across each winding, since they share the total voltage, and allows the motor to operate efficiently at a lower voltage level. The switch between these configurations can be done manually by rewiring the motor connections according to the manufacturer's instructions or, in some cases, via an automatic switch that detects the input voltage. The frequency aspect, 60 Hz, or in other cases 50 Hz, relates to the speed at which the motor operates. The speed of an AC motor is typically tied to the frequency of the electricity supply. However, a motor designed to work efficiently at both 50 Hz and 60 Hz frequencies can handle slight variations in speed and performance without significant loss of efficiency or power. Adjustments for frequency differences are generally less about the wiring and more about the design of the motor itself to ensure it can operate within a range of frequencies effectively. Such motors are advantageous for portable tools, appliances, or equipment used in international settings, making them versatile for various markets without needing different models for each region's power standards. And there you have it, folks, a journey through the electrifying world of voltage and frequency. Remember, matching both is key to keeping your motors and gadgets running smoothly, no matter where in the world you plug them in. It's not just about avoiding a short circuit, it's about efficiency, longevity, and safety. Thanks for tuning in. If you've found these insights enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and light up that notification bell for more high-voltage content. Stay curious, stay safe, and keep exploring the fascinating world of electricity. Here at Electricity Frenzy, we harness the power of AI technology to bring you seamless and captivating voiceovers. As an electrical engineer with over a decade of experience, I take great pride in ensuring that every detail shared is thoroughly researched and verified. Your trust and interest in the world of electricity mean the world to us. For more in-depth information, make sure to check out the links in the video description below. There, you'll find our website, where you can explore a wealth of electrical insights and resources. Also, don't forget to browse through our affiliate appliance links for top-notch products that we personally recommend. Every purchase made through these links supports our channel and helps us continue creating quality content for you. I'm, signing off from Electricity Frenzy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more electrifying updates, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned. Until next time, stay curious, stay charged, and remember that our AI-generated voiceovers are just one way we're bringing you the latest in electrical knowledge. Thank you, and see you in the next electrifying adventure.